displayed like diamonds in Hong Kong's pharmacy windows, this product is worth more than gold. Harvested on the Tibetan Plateau and in the Himalayas at an altitude of 5,000 meters, the cordyceps, Yasa Kumbu in Tibetan, is a strange creature, half plant, half insect. Underground, at an altitude of around 4,500 meters, lives a vulnerable little caterpillar. Melting snow and rain soak down into the ground, carrying the spores of a formidable killer mushroom, Ophiocordyceps sinensis. It invades the caterpillar's body, gradually devouring it. But the fungus soon feels cramped in this small cavity and bursts out through the insect's forehead into the open air. The Yasa Kumbu is born. According to Mr. Fu, it's popular not only because it's an aphrodisiac, but because it's an elixir of youth. In fact, it's good for everything. When everything's good, sex is good. And when sex is good, everything's good. Although money from Yasa Kumbu is currently making life easier for some villagers, the future is uncertain. How long will this El Dorado last? Every year, thousands of villagers risk their lives braving the cold, wind and snow for months on end for a hidden treasure that's as rare as it is unusual and which nurtures incredible dreams. In May and June, Dolpo's population increases sixfold with the arrival of over 60,000 Yasa Kumbu pickers. Camps sprout up all over the valleys. A medicinal mushroom, an elixir of youth, an aphrodisiac prized by the Chinese. Its trade involves hundreds of thousands of men, women and children, and every year it represents billions of euros. This is its story.